Shake the Room, Fire Nation. JLD here with the January 2021 Income Report for Entrepreneurs on Fire. Our gross income for January was $198,657. Our total expenses were just a hair over $21K for a total net profit in January of $177,599 for a crazy close difference between January and December of negative $1,012 and giving us a percentage of net profit to overall gross revenue of 89%. We almost hit that magical and almost unhittable 90% plus mark, which we've only done twice in eight years. And Fire Nation, today we're going to be talking about a lot of awesome things. You're going to have your tax questions answered by Josh of CPA on Fire. You're going to have disclaimers and liability waivers for your online programs talked about by David Lizerbram, our Entrepreneur on Fire legal counsel, and so much more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Flippa is the world's leading marketplace to buy and sell digital real estate, including websites, e-commerce stores, SaaS businesses, apps, and other online businesses. Get access to a free instant valuation plus insights on how to improve sellability for your business at flippa.com slash fire. Hiring is challenging, especially with everything else you have to consider today, but there's one place where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. That place is ZipRecruiter. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. All right, Fire Nation, as promised, we're going to have Josh come on in here and give us your tax questions answered. So Josh, brother, take it away. This is one of my favorite times of year, not because it's tax season. I know nobody likes tax season, but because the new year represents a new opportunity to get your tax and accounting life straightened out. There's no better time to to tackle this crucial part of your financial life, your business, anything that involves money than at the beginning of the year, right? Because then you don't have to go way back and clean up all the things you didn't do or the mistakes that were made all year long. We tackle it now and then it's ready for the entire year. So with that in mind, we're going to spend the first tax tip of 2021 answering some questions directly from Fire Nation. And remember, we're always looking for great questions to answer. So please don't hesitate to ask yours in the future and you may be featured here as well. The first question we have is, is there anything you can or should do if you've already formed a business in a less favorable tax state? State. For instance, I hear some states like Delaware, Nevada, and Texas are better than, say, Pennsylvania. And this is a very common question that we get all the time, and there's good reason for that. State taxes add one more tax burden on what's already a high tax bill for a lot of people. Fortunately, it also has a very simple answer. You have to register your business in the state you do business from. And I know a lot of people who have online virtual-based businesses think that kind of opens up a loophole where their business isn't actually located anywhere, but that's not the case. The state that you live and operate that business from will still consider that to be the state your business is in, right? So if you live in California, you run your business from California, even if that business is strictly an online Amazon e-commerce store, they're still going to consider that a California-based business. You're still going to have to pay all those taxes to California. Additionally, even if you could register your business in a more tax-friendly state, this wouldn't help you. The reason is that you pay taxes to the state you live in, not the state your business is registered in. Right? There's an exception there if your business is a C-Corp. 95% of you should not be a C-Corp, so that won't apply to you. Right? So all the way around, the best move is to simply register your business in the state that you live in and operate the business from. Anything else is just going to cost you time and money with little to no tax benefit. Second question, if PayPal and Stripe report my earnings and give me a 1099K, why do I also have to give a W-9 to every client? Are they going to report and give me a 1099 on the same income? Okay, so the first thing to remember is that it's standard practice for most people who pay you money to request a W-9. Requesting a W-9 does not necessarily mean that they're going to send you a 1099. It just means that they want it on file in case they do need to send you one. It's, it's sort of a CYA thing to make sure that they're getting the information from, from contractors. Okay, so never hesitate to give someone a W-9 that asks for it. Now, as for whether they will send you one if they paid you via PayPal or Stripe, the answer depends largely on whether they know what they're doing or not. Right? 
if you pay someone via third party like PayPal or Stripe, you don't have to send them a 1099. Stripe takes care of that. PayPal takes care of that. Whoever the third party is takes care of it. However, a lot of people do, they don't know that rule and they mistakenly issue a 1099. This won't impact you. The IRS won't force you to pay taxes on that same income twice. Um, worst case scenario, if you do get a, a, a note from the IRS saying that you you had more income shown for you than you claimed, all you got to do is write them a simple letter with an explanation. Um, we've, we've had that happen before, no big deal. So not something to really stress over. But it, it would never hurt to remind someone, hey, you pay me via PayPal, no need to issue me a 1099. Number three, how do I find someone to help prepare taxes who is familiar with the qualified performing artist rules and codes? All right, I'm not entirely sure what this is referring to, but my guess is they're talking about the Los Angeles local taxes and the exemption that they have for creative artists up to a certain level of income. Either way, the answer here is that you need to make sure your tax preparer knows all the rules and regulations for any tax return they're helping you file. So in most places, this is simply going to be your state and federal returns. But in some places like LA, they also have local returns that takes kind of specialized knowledge of your locality to make sure it's done properly. Right? I live in the state of Ohio. We have lots and lots of different local and school district tax returns. Most states don't have that. But if you do have it or you don't know if you have it, you need to hire someone that makes sure they know what they're doing there. And finally, last question, number four. Do I need to collect a W-9 from my coaches or provide my credit card statement for my taxes? Right, so as mentioned above, this is very similar. You should always collect a, 10, a W-9, I'm sorry. If you're paying someone money, like a, a contractor or um, a, an affiliate, anything like that, you wanna have their W-9 on file, right? From there, your accountant can determine at your end whether to actually send them a 1099 or not. But you want that W-9 just as a, in case you need to send one or as a CYA, but you don't wanna come to the end of the year and say, oh crap, I gotta issue these people 1099s, I don't have any information for them, then try to get a W-9. As soon as you know someone's gonna become an affiliate for you, a contractor for you, a coach for you, whatever, issue them that W-9, have it on file just in case you need to send it. As for whether to provide the credit card statement for your taxes, um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they mean here, but you should only need to give that uh, information to your accountant if they're kind of questioning something, saying, hey, what, what was this that you're claiming $10,000 for ad expenses and you want to show them on your credit card statement? Or if you have not done your bookkeeping all year, they'll need that credit card statement to do your bookkeeping. And finally, the only other time that would come up is if you were to get audited by the IRS, they may want to re request to see those. But you don't need them as far as, uh, you don't need them to file your taxes. You should have bookkeeping that shows that already. All right? Hopefully these answers help a lot of you get started on 2021 the right way. Um, put in that time now. Make sure your accounting taxes are running smoothly and efficiently. This is the time of year to get it done so you're not scrambling at year end. And finally, if you have any questions, you want to be featured here on a future income report tax tip, send them in. We're always looking for great questions to answer. Otherwise, you can reach out to me directly, josh at cpmfire.com. Check out all our free resources at cpmfire.com. Josh, once again, you are a CPA on fire. Thank you for those amazing, amazing tips, tactics, and of course, questions answered, all the things that we need to know. And now we're moving on to Mr. David Lizerbram, his January legal tip, which is all about disclaimers and liability waivers for online programs. You need to get this right, Fire Nation. David, say what's up and take it away. Hey, everybody. Thanks, John and Kate. Um, so yeah, I'm here to talk about disclaimers and liability waivers for online programs. Maybe not the most exciting thing that you think about when you, you know, you're know you developing these programs, but you got to think about it. Um, you know, if you're listening to this income report, you probably know that online programs, content, courses are huge business opportunities. Um, providing valuable content to your audience can be a way of building trust and goodwill for your other products or services or that content itself may be the product that you're selling, which is great. But as with any other type of business, online programs come with legal pitfalls that you need to be aware of. Let me give you an example. In the Podcasters Paradise Facebook group, which everybody should be involved in, um, one member asks the following question. Do I need to have a liability form for people who sign up for my online programs? It's therapeutic slash psychological in nature. So do I need to have a liability form for people to sign up? Well, the short answer is yes. 
Um, so imagine you open like an old school storefront business offering information and advice about your topic of choice, whatever you're an expert in. Maybe it's related to mental or physical health, nutrition, finance, business, any other topic. Well, most likely you need to have your clients sign a waiver or form of some kind that limits your liability. I'm sure we've all signed these from time to time. That same policy applies to your online business, meaning just because you're providing it online doesn't mean you don't have to worry about that legal liability. What you don't want to happen is for someone to come back and file a lawsuit against you when the results aren't what they wanted. Um, and that you know, could happen. So what do you need to do? Well, I mean, first of all, it's important to know that this type of service may be regulated by the state or country where you live. So you should really strongly consider hiring an attorney to provide advice and make sure you have the proper documentation. You don't want to accidentally provide a service that requires a license from the government. That kind of mistake can result in legal liability, fines, or even criminal charges, which we don't want to have happen. Um, some general items that might be found in your liability waiver are, you know, explaining what professional licenses you do and do not have. So, for example, you might say, quote, I'm not a licensed psychologist or therapist. Consult a medical doctor before starting a new therapeutic program. That's just an example of what might be appropriate. Um, you can also uh, include in the waiver outside resources that might be helpful. So if your expertise is in helping people overcome mental barriers, you may want to direct your clients to sites that can help them find a licensed therapist in their area if they feel they need professional help. I mean, you could even include um, you know, things for people in really urgent situations um, or situations where they might uh, be tempted to do self-harm. Provide any resources that you think might be helpful. Um, Another thing that could be included in your liability waiver is, you know, confirming what type of advice you're giving and what type of advice you're not giving. Um, so on the wealth side, providing general guidance about how to grow one's wealth is not the same as making real time stock recommendations. You really want to make it clear exactly what you are and are not doing. Um, and also, finally, you really want to make sure your audience has reasonable expectations in terms of results. So if you have testimonials from enthusiastic clients who've gone through your program and had a lot of success, be sure to make it clear that those results may not be typical and that those clients achieve those results because they put in the work. And maybe even, you know, we're fortunate that it worked out for them. Um, your documents should also include specific language to minimize your legal liability. Now, this is where the advice of an experienced business lawyer will really come in handy. For example, under some circumstances, you may want to include language that prevents multiple clients from bringing a class action lawsuit against you. Having those clauses drafted by a professional can make a huge difference should you be the target, unfortunately, of a future legal claim. The bottom line is... There isn't an easy one-size-fits-all answer to this question. If you're providing any kind of advice or guidance, you will need the right kind of documentation, and the best practice is to establish a relationship with an experienced attorney who can make sure that your exposure is minimized so you can focus on delivering great value to your clients. Uh, if you have questions about any of these um, topics that we've talked about, you can always get in touch with me, David Lizerbram, lizerbramlaw.com. If you type David Lizerbram into Google and even guess how to spell my name, you'll get it. And uh, I will look forward to speaking with you. Fire Nation, there's a reason why we use David for all of our legal counsel in legal needs. It's because he lives in this world, he breathes this world, he knows this world. So make sure you're taking this advice, you're implementing it into your business, create the systems and the tools and the automations around it so you just get it right once at the beginning and then you can just go off and create what it is that you're best at creating. But these processes have to be put in place. Like As you many of you know, the first question I asked for 2,000 episodes in a row was tell me your worst entrepreneurial moments. So many of those worst entrepreneurial moments are because people did not consult with a person like David and they left themselves open legally and got slammed as a result. So Fire Nation, heed this information that we are gifting to you on these income reports. David, thank you, brother. Much appreciated. And we will catch you on an upcoming income report. And now we're going to take a quick minute to thank our sponsors. Businesses have had to be flexible this year from working remotely to pivoting their business models for long-term survival and growth. Just one example, performing arts companies are streaming stage shows, musicals, and symphony concerts online. If you're in charge of hiring for your business, these pivots have made your job even more challenging, especially if you have to hire for brand new roles. Thankfully, there's one place that you can always count on to make hiring faster and easier, ziprecruiter.com slash fire. When you post a job on ZipRecruiter, it gets sent out to over one 
100 top job boards with one click than ZipRecruiter's powerful technology finds people with the right skills and experience for your job and actively invites them to apply. It's no wonder that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. Let ZipRecruiter take hiring off your plate so you can focus on growing your business. Visit ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Considering selling your business or wondering where to even start when it comes to finding out how much your online business is worth? Meet Flippa, the world's leading marketplace to buy and sell digital real estate, including websites, e-commerce stores, SaaS businesses, apps, and other online businesses. Their mission, to give every business owner a pathway to exit. So how do they do it? For starters, visit flippa.com slash fire and get access to a free instant valuation for your online business, plus insights on how to improve sellability. Flippa has more historical sales data than anyone else, and they are the largest market marketplace globally for buying and selling sites, stores, apps, and online businesses. So yeah, their valuations are accurate. Once you list for free on Flippa, you'll be connected peer to peer. That's right. Buyers and sellers meet on the platform, negotiate and exchange funds and assets. With over 30,000 new buyers joining Flippa monthly and over 300,000 buyers globally, it's no wonder Flippa is the number one marketplace to buy and sell digital real estate. Get access to a free instant valuation plus insights on how to improve sellability for your business at flippa.com slash fire. That's F-L-I-P-P-A dot com slash fire. And speaking of January, it's time to get Kate Lynn Erickson on the mic. I mean, we are way too far into this income report without hearing her voice. The common path to uncommon success pre-orders and bulk buy packages are what we're going to be focusing on here today. So Kate, jump on in, catch us up. What the heck is going on in your world? I thought we talked about how you're supposed to introduce me as your fiance now. <laughs> oh, I will hear about this later, Fire Nation. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Fire Nation? Great to be back on the mic for another income report. Very excited to be walking you through kind of as we are going through it ourselves, uh, the upcoming launch of the Common Path to Uncommon Success. As many of you know by now, uh, this has really been our complete complete focus since, I don't know, definitely the beginning of December, wouldn't you say, John? Absolutely. Yep. And so it continued in January with the exception of hosting some company here in Puerto Rico, which was awesome. Um, and spending some time with your family, John, who's here. And that's been so great. We've been pretty heads down at making sure that everything is in place for a successful launch of this book. I mean, I really don't feel like I could fully encompass what that includes <laughs> because we've got a lot of moving pieces. But just to break down a few of the things that we have going on and that we've focused on in January specifically was regular communication with our book launch director, who's Amber Vilhauer from NGNG Enterprises. Her and her team have been amazing at helping us get up our pre-order pages, our influencer support pages, our bonus download pages. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about the pre-order bonuses that we have put together in a few minutes. Um, also regularly communicating with our team over at HarperCollins, led by Cicely. We actually just started weekly calls with Cicely to talk about like where our numbers are at, um, where we should maybe kind of shift our focus, looking at the strategies that are working for us really, really well, which John, I, I would think it would be awesome for you to share. Absolutely. What's been going on with your calendar in that regard? Because just today on the, on the line with Cicely, we were kind of talking about the fact that you've been doing so many interviews on other shows and that's kind of starting to like just roll out right now. Um, give us a little insight into that. Talk to us about that strategy, specifically guesting on other people's podcasts. That's one thing that I've been focused on is being a guest on other people's podcasts over the last really three to four weeks because I've built up a lot of reciprocity. I built up a lot of goodwill over nine years and 3,000 interviews, you know, having people on my show. And now I'm like, all right, y'all, it's time to turn the tables. Like, it's time to get me in front of your audience on your platforms because I now have a message and a mission that I want to share with your audience, with the world. Obviously, my zone of fire is podcasting, is audio, is, is video, whatever you want to call it. It's just like sharing my message in a way that, you know, is clear, concise, actionable. So I'd love to come on and talk about these things, specifically the, the common path to uncommon success, specifically the 17-step roadmap to your financial 
freedom and fulfillment. Let's break down these 17 steps. Like, let's go through what this revolutionary roadmap is that I created in this book, in these 71,000 words. And so, man, I've just gone out. I've reached out to all of my contacts one by one, individually, individual emails with basically three requests. One is, hey, I would love for you to buy a few pre-orders of this book on Amazon because that helps so much. So anybody listening, I would love for you to do the same. (laughs) Number two, we have amazing bulk buys. And we'll actually get into a little bit of our bulk buys uh, coming up here in a minute for the listeners here. But as far as my um, influencer list that I was reaching out to, I asked them to look at our bulk buys and see if any made sense for their team, for their audience. And then number three, get me on your platform. I would love to get in front of your audience and just share massive value. And I have an incredible call to action, which of course we'll be talking about more in detail later, which are the five incredible bonuses just for pre-ordering your single version as as, as little as one, hopefully three or five, but as little as one pre-order, $17 for Kindle, $26 for the hardcover, one pre-order. I'm going to ship all three of my journals to your jaw, the Freedom the Freedom Mastering and Podcast Journal, if you're in the US, digital version on the outside. We'll get into the other bonuses in a minute here and more details on all that. But I'm letting them know that like, hey, it's not about just getting on and talking about the book or pitching the book. Like, let's do real valuable interviews and then we'll give a call to action at the end of the show, you know, and we'll, we'll make that happen. So it's been a blast. You know, I'm averaging about 40 interviews per week right now and it's no small feat, but I feel, you know, I feel like I've been practicing for nine years for this. So for the next 45 days, I'm just going all out and uh, pre-sales are looking great. Bulk sales are looking great. But Fire Nation, if you're listening to this and you're not one of my pre-sales right now, please become one. Please let me ship you all three of my journals to your door. Please take advantage of these other four bonuses we'll be talking about because we want you to have this book in your hands as soon as possible when it launches on March 23rd and we want your pre-order now. So that was just a little probably too much of a teaser, Kate, but I'll pass it back to you. Yes, that was a little bit, but but this is great <laughs> because bit. not only do we talk about like the, you know, our desire to see Fire Nation come out, to grab their pre-order copy, to get these incredible bonuses, but everybody tuning in knows how important visibility and reach is. And that's exactly what these interviews are allowing you to do. You know, we can definitely like jump on the Entrepreneurs on Fire podcast. I could get on my podcast and and record episodes. We can send out emails to our email list. We could share it on social media. But like that's our platform. That's our reach. So you getting on these other podcasts as a guest and being able to share your message on their platform is helping our reach just the same way that every time somebody goes uncommonsuccessbook.com, they're not only supporting you and this launch, they're supporting their own entrepreneurial journey because of this massive uh, amazing 17 step roadmap to financial freedom and fulfillment. And you are also helping us get it into the hands of so many more people who we know that it can help because of that visibility. Because when that gets searched on Amazon, when pre orders get placed, Amazon takes notice of those numbers. They start to promote the book more. We grow in the rankings and amazing stuff happens. So yeah, it's just been really cool to start these weekly calls. So so I'm going back to the weekly calls with our HarperCollins team, because today we were able to very specifically identify that in the last week, we've had a huge um, you know, uptick in sales through UncommonSuccessBook.com. And those are greatly attributed to these interviews on other people's podcasts starting to roll out. So um, really awesome stuff. You have just been crushing it. I mean, nine years of practice, you've done this a few times, <laughs> but I, I, I mean, there's probably a lot of people tuning in who feel exactly the same as I yeah. do. You're like, wait a second, 40 interviews in a week. <laughs> I thought you were going to say like this year, 40 yeah. interviews in one week. And that's every week too. Like that's for the <laughs> foreseeable future. Well, and you know what, actually, another thing I want to add in here right now is Fire Nation, it doesn't always have to be perfect and you're not going to know everything from the start and you're not going to get it all right the first time. And a perfect example of that is that we have a an email opt-in 
on uncommonsuccessbook.com where people enter their email address and then we provide the different options for where you can pre-order the book. And the reason that we're doing that is because we want to make absolutely sure that we're going to be able to deliver the pre-order bonuses to you. If we just give the links for people to go to the sites to buy it, then it's kind of like, wait a second, how do I get my bonuses? We have no way to get in touch with these people because they're buying the books on different platforms. And so that's why we put that email capture in place right there so that we have a way to say like, hey, thanks so much for your interest in pre-ordering the book. If you actually did go through and pre-order the book, here's your next steps. Hit reply to this email, attach your receipt, we will send you your bonuses. And I think it was like maybe just a week ago, John, maybe two weeks ago, you were like, hey, we need to update this email because I think an amazing question to add to it would be, where did you hear about the book? There's just a super small tweak that we made to that email. And now you're getting responses from people and finding out exactly where people are hearing about it. And in the last week alone, I know that you've been saying, you know, so many people are replying like, oh, I heard about it on so-and-so's podcast, or I heard about it in so-and-so's social media, or heard about it here or there. So it, it's just really great information and data for us because then we know what's working. We know that all these podcast interviews are working because people are coming and telling us like, hey, this is where I found out about you. Absolutely. 100% learning some unbelievable information about number one, where people are hearing about the book. Number two, why they're buying the book. Like what is the reason? And I can tell you one of the things that's really coming back to me over and over again is reciprocity. Like so many people's responses, John, you've just given me so much value over the years that like even if this book sounded terrible, I would buy it just to support you in this way. And you know, most of them say, listen, it sounds awesome. But listen, even if it sounded terrible, I would buy this book. And like that is so powerful. So what are we getting into next, Kate? Talking about these bonuses, you call it. Yeah, I mean, I have so many other things that we've been working on, but I mean, you get the gist of it. A lot of communication with a lot of different teams and a lot of follow-up and a lot of tracking and a lot of figuring out what's working and doubling down. Um, Of course, as we get closer to the book launch, which is now as we're recording this, just like under a month and a half away, which is wild, um, we're really starting to focus on uh, focus in on deadlines. Like, are we hitting our deadlines? We need to have, you know, better idea of numbers, better idea of how many we're going to pre-order, better idea of, you know, all this stuff that when it comes to shipping a physical product uh, are very, very important things. So yeah, John, let's, uh, let's run through those pre-order bonuses. And let me just preface this with these bonuses aren't always going to be available all the way up to launch. So if you are hearing these bonuses right now, um, they are still available. But if you're listening to this, even the day after this, actually, I mean, one of them might be going away, uh, your AMA, John. Uh Oh, uh oh. yeah. So I mean, definitely, if you haven't pre ordered yet, if you haven't gotten your hands on these bonuses that John's about to break down for you, be sure to head over to uncommonsuccessbook.com, lock in your pre-order, lock in these incredible bonuses. And um, in advance, we so appreciate your support. So John, let us know what those bonuses are. Bonus number one, that's the journal trio. I won't go into too much detail because you guys already have heard me talk about this. That's the Freedom Journal, Mastery Journal, and Podcast Journal shipped to your door if you're in the U.S., our beautiful digital pack if you're outside the U.S. We're talking immediate access on the digital packs and immediate shipping on these journals. Like when you pre-order the book today, you fill out the form with your address, we ship you these journals today. Like we have our team on it shipping every single day. So the Freedom Journal, accomplish your number one goal in 100 days. It's amazing. The Mastery Journal, master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. Amazing. And the Podcast Journal, creates and launch your podcast in 50 days, going from idea to launch. And we're just talking 50 days. So that's the powerful bonus number one. Number two, a live Ask Me Anything where we're going to get on. You're going to be able to ask me any questions you might have about your journey, questions about you name it. I'm answering it. Bonus number three, we have this lost content episode that Kate and I created. It's over an hour long. It's amazing. It's a behind the scenes interview about the journey of launching this book, The Common Path to Uncommon Success. So much value there. And if you've ever thought about writing a book, you need to listen to this. Number four, 
the common path to uncommon success downloadable PDF workbook. This is a crucial companion guide to ensure your success. Kate has been working her booty off on this. You need to have this companion guide to go with your book, period. And then you can just kind of make fun of everybody who buys March 23rd and later who doesn't have it because life is going to be tough for them. Bonus number five, video interviews, where I actually interviewed a lot, almost all of the 17 all-star entrepreneurs that were featured in my book, The Common Path to Uncommon Success. And they share some bonus content not available in the book and their video interviews only available as bonuses. And we do some kind of cool, funky things as well. So definitely check out those bonuses, uncommonsuccessbook.com. And let's maybe chat briefly. Actually, before, Kate, we talk about the bulk orders uh, or bulk offers. Anything you want to mention about the bonuses? Nada. Just that they are incredible. And I want everyone to get their hands on them. (laughs) And the fact that you get all of them just for pre-ordering. A single copy. I know. It's kind of blowing my own mind. And I'm the one that helped you create them. (laughs) (laughs) Talking about our bulk orders and offers right now, 12 books you can get. And that's our What's Shaken Fire Nation package. Um, That's going to include something very awesome. We're doing a virtual event where we're going to have a lot of the 17 entrepreneurs that we're on um, come on in here. And if you order 30 books, you're actually going to get that plus um, access to my top two courses for free for six months. That's Podcasters Paradise and Real Revenue, which you actually get for life. Um, plus you get a free copy of the audiobook of uh, The Common Path to Uncommon Success. Order 75 books, you're going to get um, that. Plus you're also going to get um, my top two courses for actually 12 months for Paradise and again, Lifetime for Real Revenue. And then it just gets bigger and better from there. I'm not going to spoil everything. Um, we're actually already sold out of one of our tiers of our bigger packages. So get over there, check it out because um, these puppies are hot commodities and one of them is actually spending a whole weekend with myself and Kate in Puerto Rico. We're flying you first class into San Juan and you'll have a first class experience with you and you will be able to bring your business partner slash significant other as well. So uh, check it out. It's quite awesome. eofire.com slash bulk. All right, Kate, how are we bringing this home right here? Well, I mean, I just want to add here, John, you don't do one-on-ones with people any longer. You don't have coaching packages. Your The mastermind is not currently running right now. If anyone's tuning in right now and thinks like, man, I really wish I could get JLD's mind on my business for just like an hour would be such a game changer. Or I'd really love to work one-on-one with John to formulate my podcast idea and just make sure I'm on the right track. Like our bulk buy packages have those options included in them. So If you're thinking like, I would really love to work with John one-on-one, but I know he doesn't do that anymore. This is a very, very unique experience for you to get that one-on-one time with John with these different packages that we have laid out. So even if you're thinking like, I don't need 75 books, I don't know what I would do with 75 books, kind of keep in mind what you're getting along with that package and head over and check them out, see if one's right for you. Boom. Can't say it better myself. Let's move into January 2021's income breakdown for product and service. We generated a cool $181,741. We sold 496 journals. We couldn't quite get to 500 journals. Um, Well, geez, actually, let me look. No, no, I'm I'm reading that wrong. It's a total of 1,006. So that's crazy. So 1,006 journals were actually sold. So that's um, well over the number I initially said, but we had uh, 170 journal sale uh, journal trios, which are our bonuses, plus 496 journals for a total of 1,006 journals being shipped out to you, Fire Nation. The Freedom Journal, we did 367, the Mastery 326, and the Podcast 313. Paradise brought in $18,000. We welcomed 18 new members into our fold. Uh, Podcast sponsorships, $83,000. Obviously still a massive um, revenue generator for us. And our bulk buy packages brought in over $62,000 total. So like I said, those bulk buy packages are getting scooped up, getting scooped up. We did uh, some good revenue for affiliate income. We did over $13,000 with ClickFunnels. Um, we did Knowledge Broker Blueprint still paying out. Tony Robbins course, $542. Libsyn, $872. Um, listed out every single one of our 
affiliates income plus our expenses were $19,269 so not insignificant you can check those out over at eofire.com slash income 90 and Kate total net profit for January 2021 was a big big number it was $177,599 and we are talking about how your health is everything as we take this home. Yes, John, I definitely know I've been here before. Perhaps many people tuning in have as well. When you kind of stop and you're like, wow, I have just way over committed myself. Or you kind of start to feel like you are trying to be in way too many places at once. And I know for me, when I hit those moments where I know that I've over committed or I'm trying to just like do the work of multiple people, be in too many places at once, this is not working for me right now. I know this, and you know it too. We know that when we overwork ourselves that our health and our well-being suffers. And I guess what stood out to me most this month is that I know that, but I wasn't actually honoring it. And I came to realize that the more that I can remind myself of how important my health and well-being are, then the better I'm going to be at honoring it. Because it's really easy to say like, no, it's okay. I'll be able to make it happen. No, it's okay. I could do it. No, it's okay. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Yes, 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 yes. Because a lot of these opportunities and things that we commit to, like they are things that we do actually want to do, but you just can't do everything. <laughs> And saying no to the things that suck your energy and not over committing to the point where you're just exhausted and never have time for yourself, you know, that is so oftentimes all it is. We just have to remind ourselves of what's most important to us. And if we don't, even though we know that over committing and being trying to be in too many places at once, that it, it will cause um, you know, exhaustion and overwhelm and all of these things can be really easy to just kind of forget that because we get on that train of saying yes, we get on that train of feeling like, yes, I've got this, I can do this. What I found in January is that really all it takes is five minutes a day to remind yourself of five of the most important things in your life. Super simple exercise, right? So try this tomorrow, try it today before you end your day, depending on what time you're listening to this episode, either sometime today, tomorrow morning, take five minutes to write down five of the most important things in your life. And then I want you to remind yourself and recognize throughout the day, whether or not the things that you're committing yourself to your time to your energy to your bandwidth to your love to your everything to are they in alignment with the five things that you told yourself today are the most important things in your life? And if they're not, you should really continue to remind yourself of these things every single day. And I highly encourage you to commit to this. Commit to it for the next 30 days. Every day, five minutes, write down five of the most important things in your life and keep those things top of mind throughout the day. And make sure that how you're spending your time, what you're giving your energy to, how you're sharing your love, that it is in alignment with those five things that are most important to you. And I can promise you, you'll be amazed when it comes to making decisions and honoring what is most important to you. And on that, Fire Nation, we will catch you on the flip side. Flippa is the world's leading marketplace to buy and sell digital real estate, including websites, e-commerce stores, SaaS businesses, apps, and other online businesses. Get access to a free instant valuation plus insights on how to improve sellability for your business at flippa.com slash fire. Hiring is challenging, especially with everything else you have to consider today, but there's one place where hiring is simple, fast, and smart. That place is Zip Recruiter. Try Zip Recruiter for free at ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Zip Recruiter, the smartest way to hire.